PGC or time gain compensation. Um, this is super important. It, it, stick with me here for a minute. This, this is what's called a test object. We actually have sort of this cellophane band that goes back and forth between these posts, which are at a constant spacing. So if you put the ultrasound beam through here, it will try to return information about each one of these interfaces, which should be equally spaced. Well, if you do that with an A mode system, like that first system I had to work with, the first one is going to be quite strong uh, returning echo. And then as we get deeper and deeper, we've lost more energy, both on the trip out to see it and the trip back to detect it. And so we end up with a much weaker signal, even though all of these things are exactly the same. So, well, okay, that's not a good thing. So the way you can work with that is actually on the receive end, you can ramp or boost the signal selectively so that the peaks come out pretty much equal. Now, obviously, we're going to introduce some noise and problems into the system, but that's the idea. We've, this is what nature gives us where we're losing energy. We want to display it with roughly equal energy. And, of course, what we're displaying is going to be B images, not spikes, but it's the spikes are the basis for the B images. So going back to our first piece of equipment here at Tech, you can see it has this thing, and you can see the knobs set that we're actually, this is one of those TGC controls where we're compensating for the fact that we lose tissue as we lose energy as we go deeper. This again from uh, that Toshiba unit that had the two, the color and the black and white monitor, same idea. Here's one of the Accuson units we had, same idea. And then you'll find on the GE Logic uh, e, the same thing. So here's our TGC control. And it's nice that we have it stepwise because you can actually compensate for any funny kind of attenuation where, for example, in the first inch and a half you lose a lot of signal and then you've got a cyst and then you've got some other tissue. You can actually set these to balance that image so it has pretty even gray front to back. So learning to use that or playing with that in the sessions, I hope all of you will get a chance to do that.